Let's have a look at this particular kit. Preset bank A, kit number one. We can see as I play, the name of the rhythm instrument sound assigned to each key is displayed along with the, the note name. Now, to change the sound on any particular key, I have to go into this particular function here. Key WG on F2. And I can see wave group and wave number. Well, the XP80 contains two groups of waveforms. Internal group A contains waveforms that go to make up patches. Internal group B contains the rhythm waveforms. Now, we've actually got 193 different rhythm instruments to choose from. And by playing the key, I can see the assignment on that particular key. So this particular snare sound is waveform 68, natural snare 2. I can change that to a piccolo snare, natural snare 1, or any other waveform contained in the machine if I really want to. And an easy way to see exactly what I've got is once again to use the sound list. And there we can see natural snare 1, natural snare 2, and simply go through experimenting with the different types available. So having selected a different snare for the kit, I could now go on and change the bass drum, change the hi-hats, and so on, just to completely customize the kit. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move on to the next change, which is retuning the instruments. So we're going to exit. Now, over here, you see a thing called course tune. Let's take a tom sound. Let's try and retune the sound. So moving to course tune, I can move the pitch up or down. I can change the pitch in more fine increments, decrements, the fine tune control. And there's even a random pitch depth. This allows you to, for example, create more natural hi-hats by varying the tuning of the hats randomly and automatically. The next thing you might want to change is the actual level of each of the instrument sounds. To do that, we go to key TVA and the first thing you see is tone level and once again for every waveform assigned to every key an independent level can be set and we can even pan the instrument left or right of course you won't hear that because the recording is in mono and finally we can make adjustments to the amount of effect on each of the instrument sounds if we go to effect and then press the button marked general we see a display which shows a representation of the routing for each key across the rhythm section so for example key c2 which is the bass drum has zero reverb send level snare has a level of 100 but i can change that all the way up to a maximum of 127 the same thing can be done with send to the chorus effects processor as well. So once you've made all these changes and customized the kit, you want to write it into one of the user memory locations. So once again, to utility, menu one, write, and select whether you want to store in user one or user two. I'm going to store that in user one. Execute. Job's done.